In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full film study breakdown on one of the best players that I thought emerged last night uh, from the club series uh, championship uh, games, and that is Turbo Jeff. We're going to be taking a look at his game against Noonan and kind of breaking down some of the key things that I saw that honestly uh, I've taken and put into my own game because he is an amazing player. Um, doesn't, in my opinion, get enough credit for the offensive mind that he has um, and obviously representing the 818 crew. So if you've never been in my channel before, my name's Cody and I do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. Uh, I do about four of these a day. Uh, sometimes I do stuff like this where I study a pro player or study a high level Madden player and kind of try to distill some of the things that you can take away from their gameplay. I also do my own tips and my own strategies and practice mode breakdowns and all of that fun stuff. So if you want to get access to that material, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can do that. Again, it's 100% free to do that um, just by clicking the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And uh, we also have a discord if you wanted to kind of get a little bit more closer with some of the guys uh, from the community, maybe get some good lab partners. You can do that by joining the discord. That link is in the description. All right, so Turbo Jeff um, 818 crew, uh, he is coming out on defense. We got Noonan on offense now. Uh, with Stretch being patched, you see a lot of the a lot of the games last night. People are switching to the Power O, and there are some some really valid uh, valid reasons to do just that. Uh, so as we jump in here, uh, they're just setting up their adjustments. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about is. Turbo Jeff's defense, I thought was very, very uh, interesting. He was running, I think, nickel 335 wide, uh, doing some user rush tactics. A lot of guys are coming out in trips tied in from the Vegas playbook and then audibly into these pro personnel sets because basically they can come out and then get a quick, you know, am I going to hit this or am I going to hit that? Or they're going to go down. So you see here automatically um, looks like Turbo Jeff setting up his 335 wide. Uh, defense it's interesting that he moves this he slides them one way or the other he's just you know and here going into the run defense and i love the gap shoot and he's able to box up here uh from noonan now this is something that's really really important to understand if you're a run based player you have to have a battle plan for when they're able to stop your run because when you start playing against the best players in the world they're gonna be able to stop your run and in my opinion my big takeaway was once Turbo Jeff was able to stop Noonan's run, a lot of the routes that he was trying to hit just simply were covered. Um, you see here uh, Noonan, or I'm sorry, Turbo Jeff coming with, I think it's basically just a cover four. I think it was base cover four. I don't know if there was anything different than that, but I mean, there were some adjustments there and things. But um, for, for the most part, I felt like uh, Noonan, and this is one thing I did want to hit on. If we back it up here, um, this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, from from Noonan's perspective and this is where I'm talking about as a, as a runner because Noonan's a run-based player now if we go flip frame by frame here what you're gonna see is he's running a very good route combo out of trips tight end let me show you what he's gonna do so at the snap of the ball so he's gonna bring this motion over and um, what you'll see here is this is just this is classic trips tight end you've got a drag over here you've got the streak I think it's a street corner combination on the right you got the running back on the shoot route. The running back's wide open, okay? The the running back is literally standing wide open. There was no hard flat, no Mabel coverage on that side of the field, okay? Uh, snap, and then you slide here. Now, look. Now, this is a great user, in my opinion, by Turbo or by Turbo Jeff, but you've got this curl route or the drag. He is now turned. I want to see Noonan check down to the drag here. Um, instead, forces it right into coverage, and Turbo Jeff should have been given an interception. Um, and in my opinion, you know, Turbo Jeff just dominated this game um, on the on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, Noonan's offense just, and this is what I'm saying, it's not a criticism of Noonan as a player. It's just saying we've got to be able to make those reads. We've, we've got to be able to make those are simple reads. Um, see here, this is a classic route combo. I actually love this route combination. This is one of the things I'm going to recommend you try to do. He's running a shoot route, a corner route. And then he's going to run two curls here. He's going to run one at a shorter depth, and he's going to run one at a deeper depth. And then what I love is he's going to bring a post over the top of it. This is a really, really, really good route combination. Again, and watch what happens here. So um, Turbo Jeff goes with the coverage defense. I think he this time does Mabel or does basically take this away. You see over here he's got this guy's underneath coverage. So he's taking away that little underneath hitch. Now he's doing a really, really good job of usering right here and um ends up ends up this post route just did not do what he needed to do 
and you know Turbo Jeff's going to be given the stop right there. But I would like to see uh, I would like to see Noonan maybe run two deeper hitches uh, just because of the time or just because of the down and distance of that. And in my opinion, what I've been finding, and I think it was Clef the God that was doing this. It might have been last year, but when you run two, when you run an underneath hitch and a curl. That's a great combination, but another great combination is just two curls, just double curling on one side. So Turbo Jeff's going to get on offense, and you're going to see a massive difference, and they're running the same basic kind of thing. I mean, they're, they're doing – I think I think they're both in Las Vegas, if I can remember correctly. Um, I'm pretty sure Turbo Jeff's in Las Vegas. If he's not, he's in, he's in I think, New England. Um, but you'll see here, Trips – yeah, he's I think he's definitely in Las Vegas. But Trips tied in, and literally – um, we're going to run the same route combination. We're not going to do anything, uh, anything crazy different. You're still going to see the double hitches. And there's some little nuanced things that he's going to do that is different than Noonan. But literally running the basic route combinations of these simple little check down reads, which I think are phenomenal route combinations, the major difference is going to be that Turbo Jeff is going to be able to read and react. He's going to be able to read and he's going to be able to make and hit his routes. To me, that's literally the only difference. Running basically the same offenses, major difference is Turbo Jeff made the reads and Noonan didn't, and that was the big takeaway for this game. But I want you to see what Turbo Jeff's going to do on offense. I just really fell in love with this. Um, so here he's going to start out going down to Power O. Nothing too fancy here. Noonan's probably going to be able to hang with it. But, I mean, he gets a pretty decent gain right there, in my opinion. That was a little bit – I mean, I'd like to see him cut that back up inside uh, on this. But trips, I think I think Turbo Jeff's naturally more of a passer, and that's why you're seeing that you know play through and in, in, in why he's able to execute here. But trips tight in, trips to the short side, he's gonna flip it. Um, I don't. So right here, what you're gonna see, you should see. Yes, this is the route combination I was talking about. He's got this post over here. He's he's gonna have this guy on the little post. He does have a tight end apprentice. Okay, so when you're running trips tight in, if you want to know what can really take trips tight in to a whole nother level, in my opinion is having a tight end apprentice. When you have a tight end apprentice, it is really, really, really powerful. So what you're gonna see right here is he's gonna run him on a little post. He's got this guy on a shoot, shoot flat route. The reason that's significant is because what he's gonna do, and this is what I absolutely love, he's gonna run the slant route over here, and then he's gonna have a little smoke screen and and and, and little, um, little hitch right here. What I'd like to see him do is put this guy on a curl and put this guy on a hitch, but, you know, that's why he's in the club championship, and I'm sitting here telling you how great of a player he is. But, look, I mean, literally everybody's open. Um, now, part of this is because Noonan sent – I mean, he sent six. Did he, no, he sent five. So, Noonan sends a corner blitz. I think this is from Nickel Normal. It might just be Nickel Blitz. But you see here, I mean, this is just surgical. I mean, literally everybody's open, and that's what I love. Turbo Jeff takes the hitch route. My opinion, the hitch route, when ran correctly – can be the best route in Madden 21. It's very, very difficult to stop in zone. I, I don't know of very many zones that can stop the double hitch concept. I know that man can give it a little bit of trouble, but I think there's also ways around man. And um, and we did a deep dive on hitches on the channel if you want to pick up that video. It's just at the channel. But what you'll see here, great power run. Um, also, if you want me just to send you the link, just text me. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. Uh, it's also in the description of the video. You can text in uh, and just let me know what's up. So, but, but I mean, so far, like trips tight end is just, you know, trips tight end is tough in general, but when you pair it with this audible down, it's very, very effective. But what you'll see here, these little, these just little, like, this is just great route combinations right here. And this one, I love this one right here. So basically he's got a smoke screen. He's got a little five yard hitch. What he's doing differently than what most people do, at least from what I've been seeing, is most people will run a hitch here. Uh, they'll run this guy on like a smart routed hitch, so let's say 10 yards, and then they'll run this guy on a four-yard hitch, and then they'll have this guy to pull all the zones to the smoke screen, essentially. And then on the back side, they're going to run, you know, whatever, whatever they might run on that other side. Now, what, what Turbo Jeff does right here is he's running these underneath hitches, but he's running post routes over these hitches. And it's, in my opinion, a little bit, it might be more effective, but watch, it just puts the user in a bind. I mean, he's got everybody open. And I love the motion over little five yard check down hitch, five yard check down hitch. So he's got two hitches. So that means, what that means practically for the defense, the defense has to dedicate two resources 
two yellow zones to be able to stop it eventually you run out of players eventually you run out of players because you can't mabel both sides and put two yellows and put a deep blue and have a user you can't do all of those things and that's where this almost like west coast style of passing from turbo jeff is just dominating and you see there just hitting you know just taking the quick hitch taking the quick hitch and noonan for the most part you know at least in the first couple of drives you know really doesn't do a ton to uh stop it we'll skip ahead here uh let's see we'll skip ahead here so again trip side in and generally when you run trip side in you're going to want to run it to the wide side of the field um your your guys here so this is a great route combination as well this is and again he's just and i love the fact that you what you've noticed of turbo jeff he's mixing up who's on the hitch who's on the curl so like right here instead of running the smoke screen now he's going to run a shoot flat and he's got a curl here and he's got that fire and hitch here and you see the flat standing wide open. He also has the corner out. Because what happens is literally you can't Mabel everything. And because you can't Mabel everything, you can run high, low concepts on both sides of the field. Really opens up a lot. Um, a lot. When you are able to beat man to man, it really makes it tough to stop trip tight end. I think trip tight end is a zone killer. Maybe the best zone beating formation in Madden 21. Um, just flat out everything beats zone from trip tight end. It, I've faced it a couple of times, you know, face good players to use it. And if you're, if you know what you're doing out of trip side in, it's really hard to stop it. If you're running zone, uh, primarily, if you're primarily running zone, now, if you miss reads, then you miss reads. But what I've noticed here is turbo Jeff keeping very simple on offense. Now this is an interesting route combo right here. He's got this, uh, running back or no, he goes to that same one. He goes that same one. He goes that smoke screen. Hitch route, slant route with the post over the top, and then the shoot route to the back. The reason the shoot route to the back is so critical, and when I say the shoot route, I think he's, I think that's technically just called a flat route um, from from uh, the backfield master. So you do also he has tight end apprentice and he has backfield master. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't think he has any other ways. He's got. I like that he has all abilities on his own line. I think that's actually kind of smart. Um, just because of the way the game plays this year, but he's going to go with this angle route. He mixes in the angle route like so well and literally what he does such a good job of what I was so just, I mean, I just fell in love watching this game with the trips tight end to be quite honest with you, but more importantly than just the trips tight end, I fell in love with the passing style of turbo Jeff. It's this little, you know, basically just horizontal stretch after horizontal stretch. It's underneath after underneath after underneath. And it's just, tough to stop um and you can you don't have to just be in trip side in to apply these concepts i plan to apply a lot of this out of spread uh i'm gonna i'm going to uh you know implement some more of this um little quick quick peppering of of routes within my own offense um too often i think one of the one of the traps that i fall into as a madden player is i will try to beat the defense in one play every play right i try to beat the defense in one play every play because what i want to do is i want to blow people out but instead what you see turbo jeff blows noonan out i mean this game was not a game um but he does it um with precision with precision and accuracy and that's what i i love i love there you see here double and that's there's that high point um, or, or smart routed hitch on that side. He's got the angle route there. And you're going to see this just carve up Noonan's defense. Um, now, let me let me jump over and talk a little bit about Noonan's defense within this. Now, you notice, and one of the things that I think he could have implemented a little bit more was some screen game uh, with this. I think the slip screen or the tur like little, little quick screens, they often attach those to four verticals. It's not a bad concept against zone. Uh, but what you'll see here, uh, going to that audible down, and, that, and right there, you know, that was honestly, I just think Turbo Jeff's more of a passer than a runner, and that's coming out as you watch the tape, right? As you watch the tape, you realize Turbo Jeff is missing some cuts, he's missing some some steps, at least in my opinion, whereas if you watch uh, Noonan, Noonan's going to hit that cut, or Noonan's going to make that make that proper um, that proper run play call, but you see kind of they play to their strengths and weaknesses. And Noonan's sitting in this nickel 335 uh, normal, which if I were if I was facing somebody that was going to pass the ball the majority of the game, 
I would much rather be in 335 normal than in big nickel over G than in, you know, really anything, honestly. I think 335 normal, you can create some of the best coverage defenses uh, in the game. And what you're seeing is he is carving this up with this horizontal passing attack. Just these, and, and, and what's interesting, most of it's hot routes. Most of it's hot, if not all of it is hot routes. That's what's crazy to me. So here you see he's got same concept. This is a, every every route on this play was hot routed. Every single round of this play is hot routed. He's going to go back to this little spot concept right here. It's going to be wide open. He ends up hitting the tight end. Noonan left every, I mean, it was there. Literally, both both routes were there. Um, but great read on that, hitting Vernon Davis over the top. I would have rather him taking the hitch. I think that's a safer play. But no big deal. He does get the touchdown. So we're going to jump back over here. And now you're going to see a whole different ballgame. Now, you notice here, uh, this is a nice little coverage defense that he's cooked up out of 3-3-5, in my opinion. Um, but you see, look, look right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Look, look at this side of the field. Three people are guarding a flat route. You have two people standing wide open. The user's all the way over here. If you're Noonan, how do you miss? Like, and, I, and I understand, you know, yes, Monday morning quarterback syndrome and all that stuff. But, man, this is like... This is like a basic concept that Trips tight end is built on. You have to hit this route. You have to hit him. That's a first down. You're moving the sticks. And instead what happens, which, yes, he does. He gets a good run with Culpepper and gets out um, and gets about the same yardage. But it indicates the bigger issue. The bigger issue being that I feel like from just watching the tape, Noonan was not able to consistently, you know, read the defense from Trips tight end. Um, and that killed him, especially – um, once Turbo Jeff got up by 14, once Turbo Jeff got up by 14, like, you know, I mean, it's just GG's here. He tries to get the stretch nickel three through five wide. I mean, almost stock stops a stretch. Um, if you guys need run defense, just text me. Uh, I can shoot you video setup breakdowns that I have for those. Um, again, my numbers in the description below. Uh, if you want to, if you want to get access to that. Um, so here, here, Turbo Jeff changing his hooks up a little bit. Um, changing his zone drops up. You'll see that a lot. I think it, you know, basically is kind of dependent on what he wants to take away. If he wants to take away um, a deeper crossing route or something like that, he's going to have to put him at a certain depth. If he wants to take away a certain little, um, these hitches. And But what you'll see here, I mean, again, slant is standing wide open. He's going to miss it, and he's going to throw it but back across his body. And, yes, he does get a good play. But, like, we've got to hit the slant right there. We've got to hit the slant. If we're running trips tight end, and if that's what's got us here, if that's our scheme and we are masters of our of our power play, we have to hit that slant route. Um, that's just that's just my my two cents on it. And you'll see Newton, or uh, Turbo Jeff's going to mix, mix in this turbo rush. It might be coming right here. Um, this, tur this user rush is insane from 3-3-5. Yep. Oh, I was almost there. Nope, he bailed out. He's got the drag. He's got the... I don't know why we're running a comeback, but the comeback was open. I don't know why we're running a comeback on that. Like, what? We have, like, we have a flat route, a comeback route, and two streaks. Like, and we complete the comeback route somehow. I mean, I don't like, I don't, I don't love this route combo at all. Like, just put him on a curl. Why, why, why a comeback? It doesn't hold any of the zones. So. I just think he's. I just think. I think uh, when when you're a run based player, you have to, you have to have a decent passing set, or you're gonna get destroyed. Unless you're playing Madden 20, at least in my opinion. Um, but here you see, this is a user rush, basically, and we'll break it down for you guys. But essentially, what we've got here is we're gonna send three off this left side, and we're gonna send two off this right side. It's a six man pressure, right? You know, he's just running free. Uh, it's not, you know, Noonan is not blocking anybody. That's on Noonan. Um, but what you'll see here, and, I mean, this is just a big play in the game. Gets the sack fumble, gets the ball, and now, like, you know, I mean, if Noonan goes down and scores, it's more of a game. But at this point, and this is where Turbo Jeff can really move, uh, move, the, move the ball forward. Um, with a touchdown on this drive, Turbo Jeff is going to be able to really separate because when you're a runner, you don't want to be playing from behind. And so again, here you see there's the hitch curl combination. I hate this read. Like I, I, I don't know. I think this was, 
I don't know what he saw here. Um, this is obviously a smart routed corner route that is like basically turned into a slant out. Uh, but man, it did not work. Like it, I think, I think what he's trying to do is hit this over here and he's trying to lob it over and put it like right there. But in doing so, he gives this guy way too much time to catch up to the ball. And Taylor Mays does. I mean, in the grant, it is Taylor Mays. So I see the matchup right there. But Vernon Davis has another great route running. He does go to man here. And you see, man coverage does. I mean, it does okay. It does okay um, for Noonan. Man coverage, they stick to it a little bit better. Um, I'd like to see. Uh, I, I don't know. I just. I, I felt like that route combo was a decent route combo. I just felt like Turbo Jeff should have checked down to the hitch. Because you know he's shading outside and over top. Uh, and right here, what you're going to see is he is, he is, this is his man beater. So he's going to have this guy on a post route. He's got this guy on a slant. I'd rather him put this guy on a hitch route. I understand why he puts him on a flat uh, so that he can run this slant. I'm sorry I misspoke, but he's going to have this guy on this little shoot flat. This guy is coming in on a slant. I'm pretty sure this guy is going to go on a corner and this guy's going to be on a shoot flat route. We'll see. Uh, what the, or no, it looks like he's going to be on an option route. But he's got his corner route here. And what you'll see is this is just a basic man-to-man -man beater. The one problem with it, at least in my opinion, is like if you cover this post route, I mean I guess the slant is your I guess the slant is your is your check down here. You see Reggie Bush gets wide open though, and that's why backfield master to me is one of the most important abilities in Madden 21. Because of how uh if you're gonna beat man-to-man -man coverage, oftentimes I feel like you're gonna beat it with your tight end, which is why it's important to have a good route running fast tight end. Like, in my opinion, Jermichael Finley's still up there as one of the better tight ends, but Darren Waller um and Vernon Davis. I still think Darren Waller is a little bit better than Vernon Davis. But Reggie Bush has backfield master. You see it allows him to separate right here. He could have hit him right here. Instead, he's gonna go over the top and he's gonna get the one play touchdown. And this is where the game kind of – and I love the fact that he does that right there. That's intentional. Um, that's an intentional decision by Turbo Jeff. Basically what he wants to do is he wants to take all the time off of the clock because it's so hard to stop uh, on, on, the, on the goal line this year because of how good of a push the offensive line gets. It's really difficult to stop fullback dive or, you know, some of those plays. Uh, Turbo Jeff – is is basically trying to take some additional time off the clock to make sure that Noonan can't go up and score. And now this is where I think, you know, Turbo Jeff now has a two possession lead and he's going to get ball coming out at halftime. Literally he could just clock, but Derrick Henry ends up going in, scoring the one play touchdown. And now this is a critical drive for Noonan. Uh, if you could go down here and get three, even if you just got three, um, you would be in good a good position. But here, trips tight end. Noonan's going with the coverage defense. I love that look. Uh, I love this little cover three cloud that he's running from it, uh, from the nickel three three five wide. Um, they're not able to stop Cole Pepper, but I think he's okay with that. I mean, the one thing I is like, also clock management wise, you know, Noonan's got to be smart about his timeouts in this opinion in in this uh, situation right here. But here's the cloud coverage on this side. Taking that away, like that's great defense right there. And what you're what you're seeing people do is you're seeing cloud coverage to the trip side, and then basically cover three Mabel to the I'm sorry, cover three Mabel to the trip side, and cloud coverage to the uh, tight end side out of trip side end. That's the that's the general uh, defense, and then you're you're lurking in the middle. You'll see here, you should see. Yep, Mabel coverage out of the cloud. Yep, and then you're gonna basically sit. You see here. And this is again that three verticals, you know, and I just don't like the route. I don't, those routes haven't gotten open yet. Um, you know, I just don't like the read right there. And that's where trip tight end to me does have a little bit of a, like, what I'm surprised by with Noonan is there was not a lot of crossing routes ran. And to me, if you want to really move out of trips tight end, I think it's through your crossing routes. It's not, you have a post route that is average on this outside guy from trip tight end. You have a post route here that's pretty good. But see here, there's the crossing route. And, you know, it kind of, I mean, obviously uh, Turbo Jeff was able to use her that. But it kind of made you feel like we had some momentum on that. Um, but here, going to go with the punt. And then they're just going to basically go to the second half here. Uh, nothing too crazy. And so we're going to jump right into the third quarter. Turbo Jeff is already going into clock mode. 
Uh, it's that you know you can't honestly. That's probably the right decision. Uh, in in Turbo Jeff's mind, if he goes down and he gets a field goal on this drive, the game is over. He's probably thinking the game is pretty much already over anyway. But you're going to see, and this is what's interesting. I form close. You've seen a lot of stretch. Now you're going to see a lot of power O. But I like he's going to go back to the trips tight end. I like the fact that he's going to stay with what got him there. He is going to audible down back into the power O. And what you're going to see here, again, good blocking. He's just trying to inch it forward because he's trying to take as much clock as he can. I'm surprised he took two clock off. Um, I'd like to see him, you know, from a clock management perspective, this game with how good of a, you've got to think about, uh, when you're playing and this is a little bit of a takeaway I would have, if, if there was anything that turbo Jeff could do a little bit better, in my opinion, next game, if I was facing someone like Noonan and you're playing for money, you're trying to win the game. You're not laughing. You're not, you know, th this is your, you're running your best against the best, right? To me, I didn't like this play call at all. I don't, I don't, I didn't like that at all. I think that's trying to do, I think he started trying to to do a little too much on this drive. Um, and that's ultimately going to force, I think a punt here. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but if there's one thing that turbo Jeff has to do a better job of, because if you're playing if, like, if, if, if Noonan is Volterax, right. Or if Noonan is joke, you make mistakes like this against those guys. This allows them to get back in the game because You've got to think mathematically, right, about running runners. As long as you contain the run, there's no way he can catch you. You're, you're too far out in front as long as you contain the run. As long as you can make sure that you don't give up any one play touchdowns through the air, you keep everything in the middle of the field, and you basically don't – you close off the running lanes because it's mad and it's not real NFL. You can actually, like, do that. You can actually have a game plan for that. Um, I would like to see uh, Turbo Jeff slip a little bit more into that um, because mathematically, Noonan can't really catch him. So that decision by Turbo Jeff, in my opinion, to play a little bit more, um, I just didn't like the route combo on that that trips tight end play. That was PA counter go. He would had so much success with his hitches, his underneath routes, his quick game, his slant. Like, where was the motion slant on that? That that's what I want to see out of Turbo Jeff on that. And in, in, in that specific situation, I just think there's a little bit, you know, and again, you know, both players will make mistakes. And at the end of the day, uh, Noonan's not, Noonan's going to make a lot more mistakes than Turbo Jeff does in this. But if there was one takeaway, one thing he could learn, it was that here he gets a rumpy the passer. Um, I think he's upset about that. Uh, it, it was great defense. I mean, you see here, this is the user rush again. You, you, I think, you know, basically you've shifted the nickel 55 wide to the left. You probably crashed him to the outside. You're slipping these guys off. It's a six-man pressure, though. I mean, it's not it's not like you're not contributing a lot of resources to this. But what you'll see here from from um, uh, Noonan and if he, is he's going to run. Uh, and I don't really even like this route combination because this flat could jump this hitch, honestly, and which it did, as you see right there. I mean, it jumps it right there. So... To me, if 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 uh, Noonan throws that far left guy on a on a smoke screen, that's a much much easier dot, and he's got the first down. Instead, Turbo Jeff ends up getting um, Turbo screwed uh, and gets that roughing the passer penalty. Uh, but you see here, I mean, Noonan trying to kill back to the running game. He does have time to do that, um, primarily because of the, he got such a good stop. He does have time to to slip back into the run game and be able to do that. Uh, what you'll see here, you know, Nico 55, shift it over. There it is. Yep. And we should see just the coverage defense. Yep, just the basic coverage. And there's just nothing. I mean, like, he, he had the post for a one play uh, right here. That's actually a good route combo. But let me show you what happens here. So we've got the corner route. Um, or I'm not the corner route. The, the quick route to the back. The crossing, or no, that's a, I think that's a slant. Is it a slant or a drag? Let's take a look at that. But right here, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Is he running that? Yep, yeah, hitch. So the hitch is the check down. So this is the issue. And this is the difference between Noonan and Turbo Jeff. This is, if you want to know why your hitches aren't getting open, this is why. You have to have a flat route over here. If you don't have a flat route, the flat zone is going to guard it. As you can see right here, that's what happens. Now he'll drift away from it, you know, but in general, that would have been wide open. Now here he's running the post, and then he's running another post over the top of it. This cornerback basically is going to come in. This is why slant routes to me, like if you're not running slant routes in Madden 21, you're not doing it right. Uh, slant, This slant's going to pull this corner on the back, on the deep. I think he's in the deep half. Or no, he's not in the deep half. He's probably in the deep third. But what you'll see here, I mean, this post is wide open. 
if Dante Culpepper could throw it, you know, if he got a little bit more time, that post is running wide open uh, over the top of the defense on that. And I think he's probably, I think, I think he would have was in an outside third. He might have been in a deep half. Um, I just think because of where he was placed, he would be he would be either in a deep quarter or deep third. But that's an interesting uh, route combination for those of you guys that run trips. You know, you might have a little something, something. But again, obviously, the you know you have to over 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 wait for that. But here, same same setup, shift the line to the left. I'm not sure why he shifts it to the left as opposed to the right, other than probably for just the user rush. Um, that was just a post and cross combination. I thought Turbo Jeff defended that really well. At this point, you know, Noonan has shown um, just not a ton of like innovation offensively. Uh, from the from the route combos he's running, um, you're seeing basic you know crossing, and what you'll see here there's the user rush again, and I love how Turbo Jeff kind of mixed it in in key situations. But if we back that up, if we back that up just a second here, I do want to show you this. So this is the user rush again. Now look, same issue as before. Look now this time he runs him on an out route, and look who's wide open, hitch route, and and we missed him, you know. And that's where, you know, you've got to have that that key route combination that Turbo Jeff was able to manipulate and able to use really did show um, throughout the course of this game because you saw Turbo Jeff able to execute that on key downs. On key downs, when he needed to get the ball out quick, he was able to execute that and move it, move it, and move it. So, um, anyway, the rest of this game is is going to basically be, and you're going to see it, uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to tote, you know, we're just going to come down, we're going to run the ball. We're going to probably throw it on conservative here in a second. Um, when you're running the ball, I do want to talk about that. I want to show you uh, a couple things real quick before we go. Real quick, if you have not signed up for the text message membership, I give out free tips every single uh, week to my text message members. It's 100% free. All you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description of the video. Normally, it's in the top left-hand corner of your screen, um, but I, I for some reason lost the graphic. Uh, for today we'll try to get it back on here in just a second but what you're seeing is from what you're seeing specifically from uh this this running set um from turbo jeff is you know in madden 21 and this is you know i think it, it's an elite of the elite when they know the run's coming they can kind of hang with it you know you can't just like 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 when madden 20 you could know the run was coming you could call the defense that's going to stop the run and it would be a 50 50 chance whether or not you were going to actually stop it Madden 21 is not exactly like that. If you call the right defense, about 80% of the time you'll stop it. Sometimes they'll break a tackle or sometimes they'll break, they'll break a long run. But as a general rule, so you see here, I mean, he's straight up in goal line. Um, second and three. Uh, and we're literally just, he's just trying to get the game over with. I mean, the game's over at this point. As long as he doesn't fumble the ball, um, which I don't like. I don't know how I feel about the fullback dive call. I personally feel like power G and power O at this point in Madden 21 um, are the two better runs that you can use uh, power based runs were good in the beginning of the year and then it kind of shifted to stretch and then they pass stretch and now it's kind of i think working more back to these power runs because with power runs are kind of hard to shoot as you can see right here um turbo jeff knows that and he is committed to running eye close power o and he's not getting shooted uh, uh not the gaps are not are not getting shot and you're seeing this right here and i think you know noonan i don't understand I think he's in nickel normal. I don't think he's in, yeah he's not in big nickel over G, so I don't I don't know why he's in nickel normal. I don't think nickel normal stops a run as good as big nickel over G does in my opinion. Um, if I was gonna if I was in his shoes, I'd be in I'd be in big nickel over G or nickel three three five wide. I don't know I don't know why nickel normal um, because nickel normal is basically I mean, it's a very very similar defense. He might be in big nickel right here. Actually he was a, yeah I think he is in big nickel. Okay. He's in big nickel. So, um, but here, I love he brings the safety. These guys should be blitzing. If he blitzes these two and crashes you guys out, this should be good. Um, yep, he does get it. Uh, he does get the shoot there. That is, uh, we broke that run defense down in our text message membership. If you haven't already uh, gotten that, we broke down a 50-minute video showing you how to stop literally every run in the game. Um, here he's going to go to strong toss. But, yeah, just text me for that video. Um, but, literally, I mean, this is pretty much it. I mean, He's going to run the ball. Um, I like the – I don't know how I feel about the toss call. The toss call is a really big gamble, um, but he does go with it. He is going to be able to get out, and he should just go down right here. Yep, smart play. 
and you should see he's going to take every inch of the clock that he possibly can, and then he's going to kick a field goal. Uh, that would be my move. So right here, power O. I think he, I think Noonan shifted to the three three five wide uh, with the shift over. Uh, the safeties are probably going to be on spies here. Uh, I would like to see Turbo Jeff sub in um, tight ends on the outside. I mean, you know, you're running. It's like let's, you know, we we know we know where this is heading. You know, basically. Um, and then you could audible to a fullback dive, or you could audible to strong wing or whatever. Um, but because there's no way he's throwing the ball. I mean, there's no way he's throwing the ball. I like, but see here again, quick snap. Like, take the clock, take the clock. Um, and he's going to go up and, and and end up going and, and scoring uh, a touchdown. But um, I thought he, I thought Turbo Jeff situationally could have been a little better. I think he was just very confident uh, with where his game was at and where he was playing that he was going to be fine. Um, sometimes that bites you, though. I mean, sometimes I'm telling you, I, there's been many games that I've played where that has bit me. Um, but what you see here, Noonan's going to go, you know, hurry up, no huddle. And you'll see. I mean, he's going to not, you know, any of this stuff now. And now he has to press. He has to force it. He has to push it down the field because he's got to get a big play. And he's just, it's going to be tough for him to be able to do that uh, from the trips, uh, from the trips tight end. At least when, when, when Turbo Jeff's expecting it. Here you see a nice little. You know, streak, corner, drag. Like, I don't know what that was. Like, why would you put your tight end on the flat when you're down by 21? I don't understand that route combination. And that's what I'm talking about. When you're a run-based player, you have to you have to know enough about the passing game to be dangerous. You don't have to know enough to be elite, right? But you got to know, like, you got to know a little bit more. And, and I would have liked to see maybe go to something different, uh, tight doubles. I mean, literally, Turbo Jeff, I don't think he gave up a point. Um and you'll see, I mean, he's literally just, there's nothing. I mean, the crossing route here is wide open, but he throws it away. And you'll see here again, corner, straight corner. I mean, it's just basic floods, it, it, and that's the thing. It's just basic floods that he's running on the right, which is fine. I mean, normal circumstances might work, but I'd like to see him move to bunch tight end or move to tight doubles or, like, you know, just do some, like, I'd like to see, like, you know, maybe a post uh, maybe a slant with a flat, you know, something uh, here because this this coverage, this is literally just cover three cloud, and he's clouding this side and he's mabeling this side, and there's just nothing there, and and that's pretty much going to be that. So, but anyways, Turbo Jeff, I thought showed some really good stuff offensively that I wanted to share, wanted to break down. I hope you enjoyed these breakdowns. Um, we'll do some of the other games uh, as they come up. I'm really really excited for D Croft and Young Kiv uh, coming up here in about 20 minutes. So uh, a lot of good stuff from the club championship. We'll break down some stuff. We'll also do some scheme breakdowns as well and kind of talk through some stuff in practice mode and show you kind of bounce some things off of you and just kind of show you why things are happening, why they're not happening. So I'm actually just really, really excited uh, to kick off this competitive um, competitive tip series uh, for you guys. Uh, we'll probably try to do one of these film studies uh, at least every day that there's a tournament, um, but uh, we'll get multiple of these up a week for you. Uh, just to get these breakdowns if you enjoy them if you don't enjoy them just let me know we can go back to just standard tips and tricks but uh i just thought this would be really cool uh and really fun to kind of talk through some of these things <coughs> um and also <coughs> excuse me um if your servers are down or if you're having trouble connecting <coughs> to the madden 21 game like i am you can basically just delete your game and then down re-download it again uh, very very easy to do that and that will help it just takes a little bit of time and you know it just is what it is but anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you haven't jumped in the discord be sure to do that it's a great community over there great guys over at that discord um, people that are willing to help you answer your questions and help you improve at this game and then also if you want to join our text message membership get free tips free strategies sent to you every single week and these are typically longer in form and they're typically designed to be really really deep and really break down and get into the weeds a little bit about the game and that's you know i mean that's why i just love it so much so uh if you have not already uh subscribed or not subscribed just text me and let me know you want to receive those videos uh shoot me a text my number is 812-216-3644 thanks for watching this breakdown let me know what you thought about it and uh, let me know how i can help see you later